Welcome friends to the Robinsberger channel. My name is Joel Strolnik and in this video we're going to be learning how to play the 2-4 to four player board game Disney Villainous by Robinsberger. In Disney Villainous, each player takes on the role of a Disney villain with their own unique objectives straight from the classic films. Throughout the game, you move around your villain's realm to collect resources and play cards that summon allies, apply unique effects, or meddle with your opponent's schemes. Win the game by being the first villain to complete their objective. First, choose your villain. Grab the corresponding mover, villain realm, deck of villain cards, villain guide, and handy reference card. These last two are the ultimate cheat sheets. Your villain guide details your objective with strategy tips and a preview of key villain cards you should look out for later. If your villain has special cards, tokens, or other components, your villain guide will let you know. Check the description below for links to the villain guide videos. Everyone's objectives and symbols used in the game can be found on the reference card. Set up your villain realm in front of you. Place your mover on your portrait and your shuffled villain deck to the left of your realm. Fill the cauldron with power tokens and place it in the center of the table. Then set your fate deck face down to the left of your board. The fate deck contains pesky heroes that mess with your villainous plans. Finally, draw 4 cards from your villain deck for your starting hand, and let's play! Choose a player to go first and give each player 2 power tokens. In turn order, each player reads their objective aloud in their most maniacal voice. On your turn, there are 3 steps. Number 1. Move your villain from its current location to a different location in your realm. Number 2. Perform your actions. Each location has icons representing actions you may take that turn. You can perform the actions in any order, and all actions are optional. And number three, draw cards until you have four in your hand. Now let's delve a little deeper into each action. Each turn you must move to a new location, and that location will have icons that will let you know which actions you can take that turn. This symbol here allows you to collect power from the cauldron equal to the number in the icon and place it on your portrait. These tokens are vital for playing cards and activating abilities. The play a card action allows you to play one card for every like symbol at your location. You also will need to pay the card's power cost noted in the top left corner. With a move an item or ally action, you may move one of your allies or items from a location in your realm to an adjacent location. With a move a hero action, you may move one hero at any location in your realm to any adjacent location. Use the strength of your allies to defeat pesky heroes from the fate deck when you use the vanquish action. Each hero has a strength in the lower left corner and your allies must have a collective strength equal to or greater than the character you choose to vanquish. After using this action, both the allies and the hero are placed in their respective discard piles. This symbol lets you discard as many cards as you wish face up into the discard pile. Getting rid of unwanted cards can help give you new options on your next turn. It's important to note that you may not draw cards until the end of your turn no matter when you discard. Being a Disney villain, playing dirty is part of the fun. When you do a fate action, choose a player to target and reveal two cards from the top of the opponent's fate deck. Choose one card to play and discard the other in the opponent's fate discard pile. When you've resolved all your actions, if you have fewer than four cards in your hand, draw from the villain deck until you've reached the starting amount. If you run out of cards in your villain deck, shuffle your villain discard pile to form a new deck and continue your draw. This ends your turn and play continues clockwise. Villain cards are played to the bottom of your realm and most of them require you to pay their power cost located in the upper left hand corner. Ally cards represent your villain's henchmen, helpers, and pets. Most allies have an ability that affect other cards and actions. Item cards also have unique abilities and may require you to attach them to an ally to be used. Effect cards happen immediately, and then the cards are discarded. Condition cards are played during your opponent's turn and do not require a play a card action or for you to pay any power. If the requirement is met while your condition card is in your hand, immediately play the card. The opponent then continues their turn and you wait until the end of your turn to draw back to four cards. An important thing to keep in mind. A card may change a rule, and a card will always take precedence over a rule. The Fate deck contains cards that your opponents will use to try to keep you from your goal. Effect cards from the Villain deck are played and then discarded. But just like in the Villain's deck, if you are unable to do what the card says, it's discarded without effect. Hero cards are played to the top of a Villain's realm and cover useful actions at any location. The actions covered are no longer available until the hero is moved or defeated. Item cards from the Fate deck act similarly to the ones located in your Villain deck but they must be attached to a hero in play and are placed under the hero. And that's how you play Ravensburger's Disney Villainous. 
Check the description below for links to our individual villain guide videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to let us know below in the comments and we'd be happy to help. If you found this video helpful, feel free to like, subscribe, and click to get our notifications on any new material we come out with. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Bye!